former First Lady Barbara Bush has died. A spokesperson for the family said she stopped seeking treatment for an ongoing illness. Bush was the second woman in U.S. history after Abigail Adams to be both a mother and wife to a president. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. Pushing for a third Bush in office, she even went on the campaign trail with her son Jeb in 2016. I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. Can I get a little hug? Sure. <laughs> she once told CBS's Nora O'Donnell her hopes for the Bush family. What do you want the Bush legacy to be? The children and the grandchildren. They all do something for others. They do public service. They do something for others. Barbara Pierce was born in New York in 1925. She met George H.W. at a dance when she was 16. The two were married in 1945 and moved to Texas to be near George's oil business. They went on to have six children. Their second child, Robin, died from leukemia. It was this traumatic loss that Barbara would later say caused her naturally reddish brown hair to turn white. In 1990, Mrs. Bush offered this advice to the graduates of Wellesley College. At the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test, winning one more verdict, or not closing one more deal. You will regret time not spent with a husband, a child, a friend, or a parent. She is survived by her husband, former President George Herbert Walker Bush, five children, including former President George W. Bush, 17 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. Barbara Bush was 92 years old.